But first, the heated threat from a former U of L assistant basketball coach demanding hush money after being let go. We have the recording. Today, that ex coach, Dino Gaudio, was fined and put on probation, while the man who recorded him, head coach Chris Mack, is facing a major suspension and the loss of money. WHS 1119's Isaiah Kim Martinez has reaction for fans as the program hits another speed bump. So, you know what you're doing? You're going to. Pain. The exchange between former friends. I know you don't believe it. I love you. This is the hardest thing I've ever had to do. I, I, I'm not trying to f your livelihood up. And basketball partners. You let me know too. The next 24 hours. Has left U of L supporters saying, "Here we go again." The billionth negative headline pertaining to Louisville athletics in the past three years. To have 14 new guys. Just Wednesday, head basketball coach Chris Mack telling fans at the Cardinal Caravan about a promising season ahead. Days later, that hope taking a major blow. Not a fun day. The university suspending Mack the first six games without pay for his role in this. Dude, I'll take it out of my own personal money. An exchange he recorded with his former assistant coach, Dino Gaudio, months ago. Gaudio frustrated after learning his contract wouldn't be renewed, demanding money. And you're paying me for a year and a half. Or else. I will. Those GAs all practicing with us, illegal. Threatening to reveal NCAA violations by the program. Since then, Gaudio pleading guilty to extortion. And on Friday, sentenced to one year probation and a $10,000 fine. And he made these statements because he felt betrayed. On the very same day, Mac paying the price for his role too. We feel like there's some lessons learned here for him. Uh, and probably for us too. Athletic director Vince Tyray says the head coach should have had others involved from the start rather than relying solely on personal relationships. Meanwhile, for diehard fans and sports writers, scandal fatigue setting in. Everybody screwed this up. Everybody. Radio host Mike Rutherford calling it embarrassing, yet sadly predictable. It's no longer, hey, are they going to beat Duke this year? Are they going to beat Kentucky this year? Are they going to be a three seed? Are they going to be a one seed? It's are they going to be able to play in the NCAA tournament? Because yet again, mishaps like these. You go tell that toad over there, Vince Tyree. Dino's my guy. I gotta take care of him. I want to pay him for a year, okay? Then none of this can happen. Got it? Capturing the headlines more than success on the hardwood. And Coach Mack will be looking at more than $200,000 lost during the suspension, a time when he's not to have any contact with coaches or players within the program. It will cover the majority of November. Doug. Isaiah, thank you very much. And continuing our coverage in a statement out today, Coach Mack says he accepts the suspension and quote, I regret that any of my unintentional actions or failures to follow university guidelines have brought unnecessary attention to our outstanding athletics programs and university.